In the previous video, we discussed about the loads and generators characteristic profile. And in this tutorial, I am going to talk about the load scaling and time sweep analysis. Load scaling is used when we do calculation at the beginning of our feeder and cannot access to every those single loads and PV generators. So by determining the power at the beginning of the feeder, we can scale it to those loads and generators. To start in working with this tool, firstly activate the feeder load scaling study case. Then run the load flow. Notice that the feeder load scaling is selected. From the diagram coloring, make sure that the topology and feeders are selected. In order to show the feeders in the network, let us zoom it to look at the feeder in more details. Right click on one of these feeder to create a voltage profile. From show, select voltage profile. Here you can see the voltage profile of all the loads in the feeder. If we zoom it, you can see the loads and terminals voltage profile. We can calculate the rate of voltage at each point of the curve by selecting at label icon from here. We can also create a certain threshold to the curve. Right click from the state constant, select Y value and set the value to 0 0.95. As you can see, many of the loads that are in this feeder has a voltage of below 95%. Let us enter to the feeder and apply load scaling to every individual load connected to the feeder and adjust their power to improve voltage profile. Right click on the characteristic and select edit feeder. From the load flow tab, Select active power for scaling factor and suppose 25 megawatt for active power. Select power factor and set it to 0 0.9. Then click OK. If we take the load flow calculation, we will notice that the voltage profile has not changed. Because we didn't enable load scaling on any of the loads containing in the feeder. For example, if we open one of these loads, adjusted by load scaling must be active to change the rate of power. That will be very difficult to open every individual loads containing in the feeder and active the option of adjusted load scaling. There is a simple way to enable load scaling on any of individual loads containing in the feeder. On voltage profile, enter to edit feeder and click on edit elements. You will see all the elements including loads, terminals and photovoltaics that containing in the feeder. From the detail mode, select only loads. There is checkbox, name it as adjusted by load scaling. Select this tick box for every loads or some of them. Copy it and paste it for the rest of your loads. If we take the load flow calculation, we will notice that the profile voltage are changed and all of them are above 95 persons and the voltage drop on the feeder substantially reduced. If we increase the scaling factor, and increase the active power to 50 megawatt and take the load flow again we notice that the profile voltage drop down so by changing the active power of the loads the voltage profile will be affected let me also give you a brief information about time sweeping analysis with time sweeping analysis, we can demonstrate the curve of loads and static generators
containing in the feeder during 24 hours. We can also take an individual feeder as a load and determine its characteristics and behavior for this substation. Let's select a feeder that containing both loads and static generators to consider the behavior of both of them during 24 hours. If right click on this feeder and create a voltage profile from the edit feeder we can see the name of our feeder that is FD underline 094. From the edit relevant object, click on feeder and find the feeder number 94. Right click on and select execute script and double click on time sweep. The time sweep script will carry out a series of a load flow from the time 0 to 24 in a step of 1 hour. Executed. Here you can see two plots in 24 hours. The first plot shows the feeder losses as a function of time, and the second plot shows feeder generations active power, total load active power, and infeed active power. That is all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. If you like, please don't forget to subscribe.